you, uh, Ms. Gail Underwood, you want to speak real quick? I think Mr. Johnson wants to make a comment. He wants to. Yes. I okay, just, go ahead. I, I'd just like to respond to that. Um, <laughs> one of the thing that, things that the public needs to understand and that some members of this body need also to understand, the city is not the operator of the hotel. Since 2006, the operators of the hotel have been Raj Patel's NR Group, Fred Rosenfeld's company, Noble, and HIP. Whatever report Mr. Johnson is referring to from the health department, those violations would be attributable to the operator, not to the city. There are none of our employees who work in the kitchen at the hotel. Um, and Please, I'm turn, having, hold I'm on. Having, uh, Please turn your phone off. I'm, I'm having a really hard time understanding how y'all feel bad-mouthing a public asset and, in, a, in, a, in essence, depreciating its value publicly is going to help us when it's time to sell the hotel. It, it just doesn't make any sense. We got that hotel by operation of law, Ms. Gibson. We didn't spend one penny constructing that tower. We got it because we beat Capital One in court. They thought they had a mortgage on the entire thing. They were wrong. When Raj Patel defaulted on the lease and Capital One refused to cure the defaults and name a new operator, their leasehold mortgage was terminated, which gave ownership of the entire property to the city. We didn't ask for it. We got it because <laughs> the other parties to the contract didn't fulfill their obligations. Do we want to be in the hotel business? Absolutely not. But does it make any sense whatsoever to depreciate the value of a public asset, something that we want to unload, want to sell, want to get rid of ourselves? To me, it doesn't. It makes no sense. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Uh, Ms. Underwood and Ms. Gibson, you can speak while she's talking, while she's walking up. Oh, okay. Um, my comment, um, Attorney Johnson, is that we do own the hotel. So it is ultimately our responsibility. We may not be over there doing the day-to-day -day operations, but as long as we are pumping in tax people's dollars into that hotel, then we are responsible. And if, and if the operation is not being um, handled properly by the folks that are operating it, then that needs to be addressed by the owners of whom we are. And let me I'll say something. Go ahead. I'm quick. sorry. What disappoints us is that uh, HIP was operating the hotel. They leave right before rural water, and then we get all these complaints. There was no monitoring, no supervision, no nothing. Just run the hotel. If we own an asset, we have to monitor to make sure it's being taken care of. That's our biggest problem. If you had issues at the, at the Fulton, at least contact the council and say, hey, we have some problems. We don't hear anything, and then we ask questions. Everybody's so secretive and deceptive and misleading, we don't know what's going on at the hotel. But then we hear these complaints during a convention, and we're constantly putting money in it, then that gets our ear because we don't want taxpayers' money. We don't have a big money tree in the back. We can just pull thousands of millions of dollars. This is the people's money. We have to be accountable for the people's money. And they expect us to make good decisions. So I hate the idea that we spend all our time on HIP and it looks like HIP did a super job of running to the ground. They should have at least said, hey, we have some problems, Mayor. Let's go do something. Let's correct the problem. Don't just leave it in rural waters here. That's unacceptable. Mm -hmm. If we own something, let's take care of it. But don't let a company run into the ground. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Ms. Ms., uh, Ms. Gale. <laughs> Thank you for giving me extra time and let Mr. Green go by because I have to get calm and count my ten, count to 10. First of all, I understand that $80,000, $140,000 came out of District 1 money. I ask that no more be taken from this district. Every other district has projects going, over there has nothing. Um, it's funny to me, I'm not computer smart. I can turn on, get email, and send email and look things up. But I have a CPA that right now, if I call him, can put the last four digits of mine and my husband's social security number and instantly pull up 20 or 30 years of tax reports. And it's funny to me that we cannot get a simple statement, a simple answer to anything. My suggestion is <clears throat> somebody, if it takes me or somebody, 
if you want to help me, I'm ready to call in the federal government, I'm ready to call in the Attorney General, and have them do an independent audit of this city of Alexandria. The reports are frivolous, they're long-winded, and all we want is simple answers. If it takes going to the Attorney General or to the federal government because federal money is involved in our city finances, then let's do it. Thank you. Ms. Gill, we all like simple answers, but it's hard to get simple answers from, the, from, the, from this administration. Uh, is there any other questions or comments on the Fulton? There being none, uh, we got item number two. You want